we direct a laser beam onto the side surface of a basin at an angle to the water surface. The beam is reflected from the surface back into the water as if it were a mirror. We can make the beam reflect consecutively from upper and then lower water level several times. The beam does not emerge from the water into the air. The screen installed above the water remains dark. Let's make a similar experiment with a semicircular collar on a rotating plate. When the beam emerges from plexiglass into the air, the angle of refraction will be wider than the angle of incidence. When we make the angle of incidence wider, the angle of refraction grows wider even more rapidly. The refracted beam is almost gliding along the surface and we see a reflected beam appear within the collar. The angle of refraction cannot be wider than 90 degrees, so with wider angles of incidence all the light is reflected from the surface into the collar. This phenomenon is called total internal reflection. Let's see how light spreads from a source which is underwater. When the beams go up at a relatively narrow angle to the vertical, they are refracted at the surface and go up into the air. But when the angle approaches that of total internal reflection, the beam that goes up starts fading, while the reflected one grows brighter. When the angles are still wider, all the light is reflected into the water. We inserted a thin tube into a vessel with transparent walls and poured water into it. A laser beam goes through the vessel's wall and through the tube. Let's uncork the vessel. A jet of water coming out of the tube is curved downwards and so is the laser beam. Have we managed to bend it? Of course not. It's just that the beam falls from within the tube onto the surface of the jet at a narrow angle and that's why it undergoes total internal reflection. This happens many times until the jet starts to split into drops. Light can be transmitted not only along a curved water jet, but along any transparent fiber material. This fiber optic cable contains a very large number of thin flexible fibers. For the outcoming image to be bright, let's illuminate the incoming picture with a flashlight. This makes it possible to read words using such a cable. It was in medicine that optic fiber was first applied. A thin cable with an attached micro flashlight can be introduced into a stomach or lungs and examine them from the inside. The device is called an endoscope. Nowadays, the most important area of application of total internal reflection is fiber optic communication networks. Huge data can be rapidly transmitted through fiber optic cables covering great distances from continent to continent.